bongo band. It's quite an incredible story. But first, let's get some horns in this joint. Now this is bongo rock. Did you know this is a cover? The original bongo rock was a hit in 1959 by Preston Epps. True. Did you know that Michael Viner is not playing on this track? The two drummers you are hearing are King Arison. He's probably most famous for being Neil Diamond's drummer for all these years. Rock. There's so much to tell you. This was put together in 1972 by Michael Viner. Who is Michael Viner? Michael Viner was working for Bobby Kennedy when Bobby Kennedy was assassinated. Didn't know what to do. He was living with his roommate, Rosie Greer, former NFL star, who was looking to get into films. So Michael Viner got into films as well. He worked his way up the ladder at MGM until he was in charge of MGM Music. Rosie Greer was appearing in a horror film about a guy with a black and white head called The Thing With Two Heads. And it needed a soundtrack. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The national anthem of hip-hop, which is Apache, all comes from a horror movie. You can't even make this stuff up. The Thing with Two Heads, the Incredible Bongo Band is not a band. They're not a band. It never really was a band. Oh, that's right. It's got Apache on the flip. Jim Gordon is the other drummer. Have you heard of Jim Gordon? Okay. Well, it's not unusual. Jim Gordon was a member of Derek and the Dominoes. In fact, he, uh, he wrote the piano lick at the end of Layla. Jim Gordon was... Uh, he worked with John Lennon a little bit on the Imagine album as well, but he was basically a, a drummer that, at some point during his life, started hearing voices in his head. And people that know Jim Gordon say he was the sweetest guy in the world, but that the drugs got him. And one of the voices that he was hearing in his head when he got out of a mental institution was his mom's. And he stabbed his mother to death and then returned to a mental institution. He was the drummer. The Congo player is King Arison, who's from the Bahamas. Like I said, he's been working with Neil Diamond for years. So when you see Michael Viner's incredible bongo band, you should be thinking of a record executive. There was no band. It was all recorded in off time. They had the studios. So they just walked down and see who was there and get something going. There's a rumor that Ringo Starr was involved in one of the songs on the album as well. The single for Bongolia, which was released after the horror film, yeah, Bongolia and Bongo Rock, it became really popular so that the, the movie studio decided to pay for pictures to be taken of the band. So they got this fake band together they took a photo, and when they slapped it on the 45 and people realized it was a bunch of white guys, they stopped buying it. So they pulled the sleeve and replaced it with the plain white sleeve. Only in hip hop could you get a story this good. Now Apache, the Apache's history begins in the Bronx, at the Hevelo, Jerome Avenue between Tremont and Burnside. Cool Herc was introduced to this track and this album by DJ Timmy Tim. But Herc took to Apache of his own for this break right here. I can't 
o'clock during this. The Herc's merry-go-round. The merry-go-round was when he would play all the songs that had breaks in them between 2.30 and 3 o'clock in the morning. He would just line up all the songs and just play them. Boom, boom, boom. Full Herc's merry-go-round. Began with DJ Timmy Tim. Michael Viner's incredible bongo band. Jim Gordon, King Arison. Bongos and timbales and drums. This is the blueprint of hip-hop. This is the national anthem of hip-hop. Apache. I know it has significance in drum and bass, but I don't teach about that here. I need my thing. Someone else who knows more about drum and bass will cover it. this lesson. Thank you.